Hey YouTube, it's your boy Redline. Something that uh, I probably didn't know about for quite a long time. I've been playing this game for over 800 days, and maybe if like a month ago, if someone goes, you know, you can have multiple farms in uh, your home kingdom, right, on your same device. But like, yeah, I have one farm and I have my current account. And they're like, no, you know, you can make additional farms when you're in KVK. I'm like, what? And I just started doing that. So I want to show you guys what that tip was. A um, little embarrassed and probably noob that I didn't know this. So hopefully for some new players that you didn't know that you could have more than, you know, two accounts in the home kingdom. And there's a way to do it. Um, a couple ways to do it, actually. So I kind of want to show you guys what that is. And for the amount of people who don't know what this is, I hope that helps. And for anybody who knew about this, yeah, I didn't know. All right, let me show you guys what that is. So first off, why do you need more than two accounts? With KBK, with multiple events from Mighty Governor, power events, resources are clutch, right? Um, resources need uh, are needed to fuel the war effort. Um, I need specifically gold at all times. And as you all know, gold is a pain in the ass to to farm on just two accounts. So having multiple farm accounts will help you supply your need of resources for open field fighting, training troops, etc. So I always suggest that people have as many accounts as you can um, and gather as much resources as you can to prepare for KBK and for any upcoming events because resources are your lifeline. So there's three ways to have multiple accounts and a on one device and one kingdom again disclaimer didn't know this been playing the game for 822 days <clears throat> um and i probably learned this about this i learned this maybe a month ago so if you go to uh, your my settings tab right i'm gonna show you first actually no let me show you so here at first i thought that okay you can only have one account your main account in your home kingdom and you can have a farm account you can make on another device because you know the game says you can have two characters in your home kingdom well i have five now and i'm i'm pretty sure there's so many people who have probably 10 more 15 more 100 more i don't know um over the time span if you've been playing this game for a long time you probably have tons of farms in your in your home kingdom um so yeah so here i have five and i'm working on getting more I know it's just a pain in the butt to keep logging in and them and, and get them to a, a good farm account level, level 16 or even as high, higher than that. But um, so three ways. One is creating accounts in uh, other kingdoms and migrating them in. So here under my character management, I have one, two, three, four. I have, so I have five accounts in 401. I have one in 1341 that I'm planning to migrate over buying a passport bundle or farming credits and I have a few other farms that I'm creating to also bring them in into um, 401 by just migrating them in using the bundles or credits so you can migrate them in from other kingdoms it's not against TOS you can definitely make as many accounts as you want on the same device and just migrate them over it's just gonna be a pain in the butt to manage all those accounts that's one the next one is having multiple devices so me I have Let's say I have an iPhone and then I have an Android. You can create new emails, make um, new accounts, and migrate them in. You just got to log in with multiple different emails and manage accounts um, that way. For me, I think that's a pain in the ass because going in my phone here or going on to BlueStacks and logging in with the new email, just that's not me. That's the second way. But the third way that someone schooled me on was when you're in KVK, you can migrate your, you can teleport your, your, uh, your accounts into Lost Kingdom. And when you teleport your accounts into Lost Kingdom, and obviously you can only do two, correct me if I'm wrong. Like, I'm going to give you an example. So here, let's say I, I have two accounts here in 401. I can migrate, I mean, I can teleport those into Lost Kingdom, and those will take away the two accounts into Lost Kingdom. I think you can put as many as you want. You can teleport all your um, farms into Lost Kingdom, and then in your home kingdom, it's going to show you zero counts in your home kingdom. Then there, you can just create two new characters in your home kingdom. So every single KBK, you can make two new accounts. 
every KVK. I mean, you can level up to level 16 and put them in there for KV1, 2, 3, Library of Darkness, but you can make as many farms, you, uh, you can make two farm accounts every single time the KVK is there. Now, for Heroic Anthem, that might be kind of different because you need to be level 25 to get into the Lost Kingdom, but if you're in KVK1, KVK2, Library of Darkness, you can make two new farm accounts every single time you teleport your farms into Lost Kingdom. I didn't know this, and I'm probably 800 days behind that, but I want to share that with you guys. Hopefully that helps um, for people who need resources and who can manage multiple accounts, because I know there's some people out there that can manage more than five, more than ten. So more power to you guys, but I want to share this tip with you guys to for people who, who didn't know this, and I hope that helped. You guys have a good one. Thanks.